Hi guys, I'm Tsuyoshi. Today, I just have a tax from 50-50 on bottom. So in the video, I'm going to explain a basic structure on 50-50 and then sweep, back take, I'm going to break down. Hope it works for you guys. Let's get started. All right, we're in 50-50. He's on the top, then I'm on the bottom. Now the first, I want to explain like a structure. Like we're in the middle position. I trap his right leg. He traps my right leg like this. It's a completely similar position to each other. Then, maybe one of us wants to close the knee. Then, uh, we take advantage. So this time, if he closes his knee like this, the side I trap, he can make good base. And then, he's able to make a good base and a posture. Okay? But on the other hand, in order for me to attack, I want to open his knee like this. Once I open it, I'm taking advantage. Right? I have a lot of things to the attack. Then he cannot make a base. So this is the battle, what I have to do. I want to make sure that I trap his right leg on my right side. This is very important, right? As I keep his right leg on my right side, we are in 50-50, okay? Once he can pass his leg to the other side, look. This is no longer 50-50. It's pretty bad position. So I must keep his leg on this side. So there are so many ways to do, like using an armpit, like holding like hood lock. Today, I just want a simple way to do, like using my armpit to trap his ankle, okay? And then I grab his knee, like material inside his knee like this. This is the first thing I want to do, okay? Then, except the time I attack, I don't want to open my legs like this, okay? If I open it, he's be able to find a space to get out, okay? That's why, during a time I'm in like defensive mode, I lock my legs like this, and then, I maintain to close my knee. This is what I want to do. At the beginning of the time, I set up 50-50. I move my body towards him. Look, I scoop my hips. And then I put my armpit on his ankle like this. Then I can get my hips away from his heel. That means it's getting harder for him to close his knee. Look, as I use my armpit like this, he's less leverage to close his knee. And then I can open it like this, okay? Then this leg sits one of us can take top. Okay, once I set up, I open my legs to switch in attacking mode. And then, first thing what I have to do is open his knee completely. Look, I straighten my right leg like doing a bicycle kick, like this. Like pushing his hips with behind my knee joint like this. And then, I open his knee, plus shifting his body weight to far side leg, okay? Once I set up, I swing my left leg as if we're doing a pendulum leg like this, okay? And then I've changed the angle. But it's not easy for me to come up forward. From this position, definitely he's going to resist, not to guess where, he drives me on me like this. Then it's gonna be the battle I wanna take top, he wants to stay on top position. So that's why, instead of going forward, I just wanna pull myself back, as if I'm doing a technical stand-up. As you can see, I already posted my left hand on the mat. This is the same shape as a technical stand-up. Okay, all I want to do is pull my left leg behind. I raise my hips up and then look, I pull my leg. Okay, by the time I pull my leg, I slightly lift up his right leg. And then I take top position like this. Once I take top position, this is not over yet. If I just stay here, he can do the same thing like I showed you. He's gonna open my knee and then attack me like this. So that's why as soon as I take top position, I want to make sure that I close my knee. Then. I put my heel towards my back, like this. I even shift my body weight on my left hand like this to maintain a good pace. I use both of my hands to grab Aaron's knee like this. And then as if I pull in myself like this, look. And then I trap his ankle with my armpit. Then, except the time attack, like I said before, I want to lock my legs like this. Especially once he grabs my pants on this side, I'm in trouble, okay? I have to avoid it. So that's why I lock my legs like this. Then it's be hard for him to escape. Okay? Then he may make better base. So I can just make better base like this. Okay? Then he closes his knee like this. So this time, this is his position. Okay? I want to switch it to my position. Okay, the first, I open my legs and then I extend my left leg. When the time I extend my left leg, look, there's no pressure against hips to push it away. That means I can open his knee. Once I open his knee, we straighten my leg like this. I swing my left leg. As if I'm like coming out with my elbow, okay? Even if it's the same as the last one, I'm not gonna come up forward. I don't like to come up to the side like this, look. He may even come back to me like this. 
But in this situation, I open his knee, and then kick his hips away with my left leg. It's pretty difficult for him to come back, okay? Next thing what I'm going to do is change the base, right? I'm gonna pull my leg behind like this. Even this time he tries to come back to me, look. Okay, next thing what I'm going to do is pull my left leg all the way behind. Then I pull his knee like this. After I go like this, I'm gonna close my knee, and then I see get a top position. Okay, next one, the combination. I wanna go for a sweep, but definitely he's going to resist. With a time attempt like this, yeah, he may make wider stance on his legs. The last one, his leg is not a far away like this. That's why I could make him unbalanced. But this time he's making wider stance, like his knees away from me. So in this case, it's gonna be way harder for him to open his knee, like sweeping him. But there's been a space wide opening under his legs. Now I shift to the back take, okay? As if I try a last technique like this, it doesn't work. Now, I make a hook behind his leg like this. Like making a deep de la hiver. Yes. Okay, once I make deep de la hiver like this, I get access to get close to him. I move my head to catch like this. The best case scenario, I want to grab his pants with hold his ankle if I have a time. But somehow, I just wanna trap his fast leg like this then he can no longer take a step back, like regain the angle, okay? The next one is the most toughest part in this technique. Look, obviously he wants to trap my leg, like I showed in the last one. He doesn't allow me to pull my knee like this. Then I get stacked, okay? So in this case, I scoop my hips to the right side, and then as if I turn in my heel, look. I've just changed the angle. Once I change the angle, it's getting easier for me to pull my knee out. Look how I pull my knee out, like this, okay? Then next, I just wanna stand forward, like kick his back with my right shin, like this, okay? And then I come up to make the hug. Once I make this type of hug, like this, I first pull him once, like this. As he does it like the pull, he comes forward. So this is the momentum he helps me to come up, okay? I pull, look, I'm gonna come up. As soon as I come up, I grab, the material behind his neck. And then, as if I slide in my left knee, under his torso, and then I bring him down. And once I bring him down, this is the angle, I can set up twist the hook. I circle my leg, push his hips, just the angle, and then I take his back. I start his attempt to sweep like this, but he does a good job, he's making water stance. So he doesn't allow me to sweep. So in that case, I make a hook like this, and then look how I move my head towards his far side leg. This. And then I grab his ankle like this, right? Then sometimes he may pose his hand on the mat. This is a mistake. Once it happens, I can easily pull my leg like, like this. But most of the time, I'm sure that he wants to trap my leg. So in this case, okay, I need to change the angle, right? I don't even want to extend my leg for a long time like this. Especially if my kneecap point at his hips like this, he's be able to do neighbor like this, look. All he needs to drive is running on the mat, and then he can apply pressure on my knee. So I have to be careful with that. So in this time, as if I turn in my heel, look, and then I rotate my body, look. As I rotate, I can find a space, even though he squeezed my knee with his armpit like this, look, I can change the angle. Once I change the angle, I pull my knee out, look, and then I make a hook behind his knee like this. Yeah, this is like crab right position. I switch to push him forward like this. Then, after I go like this, I grab his belt, pull him. When he reacts, I come up like this. Then I just bring him down to take the back like this. 